Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of She Plays Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn with Kovu and Carbuncle. Carbuncle is a little bit indisposed at the moment, but that's okay. So, last time we left off, we turned in a few quests, and we've got a few more quests that we have to do. Look at how foggy it is! Yeah, it's so foggy, you can't even really see anything, but hey, that's okay. So while we're in the neighborhood, we, uh, we got some strewn debris that we have to pick up over here. Hello, hello. Well, before we pick that up, we gotta make sure that just in case we spawn any enemies, we'll be ready for him. Right, Carbuncle? I agree. Right, Carbuncle, indeed. Alright, let's get some ether flow going on over here. And strew, oh, strewn debris. Go ahead and pick it up. Come on, Kobu, go a little faster. There you go. Good boy, picking up the trash like that. And there's a cumbersome rock right over here. We're gonna get that. Get this out of the way. Come on, cumbersome rock. Let's throw this on here. And... Voila! The cover of some rock is taken care of. And then we have something over here. Hello, st more strewn debris. We gotta pick that up. Can't be having debris around here. Who is littering? You disgust me. It was another custom cover some rock. Go ahead and get rid of that. Oh, and we missed something up here. So let's go ahead and get that. That's another cover some rock. Don't worry, we can get that out of the way. No problem, hey, there's someone on one of the new mounts. We are on, as I mentioned before, we are on patch 2.2 now. 2.21 is right around the corner. They'll be fixing a couple issues that 2.2 uh, brought about, mostly with the new hard battles and all this other stuff, but we won't get into that until very far from now. I don't know how long it's going to take, but you know what? We're going to try to get there the best we can. Here's some more thrown debris. Another awesome thing about last episode was that we were gifted uh, some new gear from Vin Vin something Vinny. Sorry, I'm going to call you Vinny. I think I called you Vinny last time. And while after we got this new gear from our lovely friend, uh, we were given the quest to pick up some oranges. Go ahead and pick those oranges here. Make sure oh oh! I should have known. I should have known. It couldn't be that easy. You done me. What do you think you're doing? Me and Carbuncle will take care of you in a heartbeat. Ah, see? See? I mean, it was like three heartbeats, but who cares? It was it was fast enough. We got another orange right here. Go ahead and grab that. Do we have another bee? No. Okay, good. I didn't want to deal with a bee at the moment anyway. Ah, tree, you're in my way. How dare you? We, not, we must go and pluck oranges from there. Perches. Because we have this guy that we have to... Oh! Buzzing! Let's go ahead and poison this guy. And take him out with our ruin! You evil giant bee! You think you can handle me and Carbuncle? Well, you are sadly mistaken. You don't stand a chance, good sir. Not a chance indeed. Right, so the last quest that I believe is in the area is right over here. It's called Five, uh, excuse me, it's a level five quest, Lurkers in the Grotto. And it's nice, we unlocked a new part of the map and it gained 49 experience points just for that alone. Wasn't that amazing? And I keep forgetting that we have food that we can do. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and use this stuff, get it out of our inventory. Minion of Light. Black Chocobo Chick, we so cute, yes, yes. And BDI, go ahead and use that. Our resonator. And I thought we had. Ah, here we do! Okay. And some raisins that we have to eat that look an awful lot like a muffin. Alright, so we're gonna do ruin first since this takes longer and then polish it off with a bio. Why not? Excellent combination skills right there. Let's me get a little bit more damage in as we bit faster and watch out for his AoE. Why not? Well, me and Cobbuncle take out these bogeys. What kind of a name is bogey anyway? It reminds me of like something you get from your nose. Haha, you missed me! Poor little bogey man! You failed in your quest to stop me. Ha ha ha. Hmm, a stone monument. It seems to be lit up. I wonder. Oops, I didn't mean to actually do that, but hey, whatever. Hmm, wonder what it will do for us. Yay! 
Hey, we got 1,100. You are about to enter an instant battle. Instant battles only occur during certain quests and missions. Take a moment to read the information displayed in the active help window before answering the call of duty. Now, if your level is be it's level 9 or below, it will be synced. We are level 9, fortunately, so let's just go ahead and do it. We got this. We got this. Now, the only way you can't enter it is if you are in a party. Uh, you'd rather... It it'll just deny you access. It won't let you in. Uh -huh. I am the waves that bear. I am the winds that guide. I am the evening stars. I am the morning sky. I am born of the sea, and there shall I die. Thus reads the sailor's requiem, carved into yonder stone. Such words well describe the manner in which the citizens of Limsa Lominsa live their lives. It is both a litany against misfortune for those out on the waves, and a prayer that the souls of those who perish on land might find their way back to the sea. Ah, you are the adventurer I've seen around Summerford Farms. I thought myself on the trail of the kidnappers, but it would seem I have missed my mark. Oh, well. Oh, perhaps not. Guy, you want a cookie? He looks like he's As hungry. I suspect it. The etheric disturbance here is no natural occurrence. She looks way too pleased. Nor is it a coincidence that the two of us should come here in search of those responsible for the disappearances, only to be attacked. But who stands to benefit from the keeping of this secret? Oh, such thoughts must wait. Let us attend to the task at hand, unpleasant though it be. Eh, yeah, we got this. It's just a little guy. Hello, little guy. Carbuncle, what are you doing? Attack him. Help this cultured conjurer out. I sense something awry with this creature. Be on your guard. Oh, don't worry, I'll be on my guard indeed. He doesn't pose much of a threat. And energy drain him, why not? He needs a little bit more poison. By a little so it seems. Cultured adventurer! We can take this guy on together! She's actually got a pretty pretty voice for an English actor. Ah, there we go. And our job is to take care of these guys. Go ahead and get that one, Carbuncle, and I'll take care of this one over here. Alright, that takes care of him. Oh, she's got an uh, arrow. Arrow located on the big beastie. In this fight, when fighting with Ishtola and all this other stuff, you don't have to worry too much about healing yourself because they are usually the ones that will heal you for you. But of course, I mean, if your health is dropping like crazy, then of course you want to heal yourself. I mean, what kind of idiot wouldn't heal himself at all? Especially if you're a healer, a, uh, yes, a healer. Alright, so go ahead and get him. I'll take care of the other guy. As you can see, my health is slowly starting to go down. Ishtola's not doing anything to heal me. Oh, there she is. Alright, now that we have those taken care of. Simple enough. All we have is the frenzied moss back to finish off. Make sure you keep 
his attention on the cultured conjurer because he kind of hits a little hard. I mean, not too seriously, but as long as, you know, you guys take care of him. All you have to focus on really are the ads. Because the ads can wipe you out, and if so, don't just focus on the main boss there. <sighs> Oh, I feel bad. Phew. I guess she doesn't. Oh, what is this? A crystal? I spy with my white eye. A blue crystal laying on the sand with my tight tights. Hello, blue crystal. How are you doing down there? Oh, <gasps> yes. So shiny, it suddenly got very dark. This reminds anyone else of Kingdom Hearts 2. Ooh, so bright and party and sparkly. Here. Shower, get out of there, Kogu! Whoa, he's got a very shapely behind. This is what happens when you do drugs, kids. Crystal Vera. Look at the little crystal. I am Hydaelyn. All need one. A talking crystal. A light there once was that shone throughout this realm. Yet it has since grown dim. Hmm. And as it hath faltered, so hath darkness risen up in its stead, presaging an end to life. For the sake of all, I beseech thee, deliver us from this fate. The power to banish the darkness dwelleth in the crystals of light. Journey forth and lay claim to them. By thy deeds shall the crystals reveal themselves to thee. Only believe, for the light liveth in thy heart. I seriously think I'm on an acid trip here. Go now, my child, and shine thy light on all creation. Of course, why not? Wakey, wakey. Awake again? Are we? Uh, yeah. Aha! The poor creature's fury was kindled with cruel forethought. See this blade? I found it in the Gubu's back. I have seen knives of this kind before. They are most commonly used for the cutting of rope. 
It would appear our culprits are seafaring men of some persuasion. Piratical being the most probable. In any event, you seem much recovered from your sudden affliction. She could have just said, uh, dude, I think the culprits are pirates. I confess, I was rather taken aback when you collapsed at the very moment of our victory. Mayhap a surfeit of ether? I beg your pardon. A towering crystal. I'm sure I don't... Oh! Well, well. This has been a day of unexpected revelations. I must continue my investigation. In the meantime, I suggest you deliver this knife to your patron, along with a warning concerning the pirate's probable involvement in this murky business. The days ahead promise little rest, I fear. May our paths cross again, under the light of the crystal. I see. Alrighty. So now that we've failed the foul beast, I'm going to have to end the episode there. I will see you guys on the next episode of She Plays Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn with Kovu and Carbuncle. You guys